This is the Spectral Shiatsu Max for Live device. This unique instrument relies on your touches on the morph to reveal the different frequencies of a sound from different times of a sound recording. If you've installed the device file in your Ableton library, you can drag it from your live browser into a MIDI track. You can also drag it from your file system. You can also open the file directly in Max. The first thing to know is that there is a nice tutorial here at the question mark. Click on this if you need to review details. There's also hints on all of the controls. Let's start by loading a sound. Just drag from the live browser, a clip, or your file system. A spectrograph is created in real time. That means if you have a one second sound, this will be finished quickly. If you load a five minute song, you'll be waiting for five minutes. As a result, we recommend using short sounds. Once a sound is loaded, you'll be able to touch the morph and make new sounds. A sound is broken up into frequency over time, so the y-axis is the frequency, the x-axis is time, and the brightness is amplitude. It's like a whole matrix of sine waves. I'll demonstrate with different left to right gestures so you can see how my This is a test. sounds. This is a test. Here's what it sounds like when I put my fingers over different frequencies at different times. You can also click on this window with your mouse and make some sound. Let's try some different sounds. You'll notice that the high frequencies are maybe not as fun to play with. That's why I've scaled the Y touches to have more influence on the lower frequencies. You may disagree with my decisions, so you can use these knobs to crop the frequencies of interest and change how much detail you have on the lower frequencies. You can also load an image file. Most of the image files kind of sound the same. The most interesting would be images with a variety of dark and light areas. As if that wasn't interesting enough, these top knobs over here can really affect how your touches explore sound. These all affect the image that reveals sound. Add feedback so a touch has a decay. Make an area bigger or smaller so your fingers reveal more or less frequencies. Reduce the blur on the contact, and you'll hear the sound change. Higher sensitivity means that lighter touches will sound louder. The bottom four knobs are tied to the synthesizer that is activated by your touch. This affects the volume of each voice. It's mostly designed to help prevent gain stage clipping. Window is kind of weird. There's a looping playhead for each contact, and the duration of that loop is determined by this value. A value of 1 will play the whole file, but will only be audible when it crosses your contact. With auto looping, the playhead window is relative to the size of your contact instead of the duration of the file. Play with window and area, then use different contact sizes on the morph. Volume is, of course, the final volume. 
Things get really nice when you add some effects. You'll probably want some compression to boost the volume and even things out. And a reverb and delay are really great for this. <laughs> 